So, hello, my name is Dmitry Klyvakon, and I will be talking about query model for image search based on user clicks and, and neural network image features. We consider image search engine whose task is to search for images which are relevant to the text query entered by a user, in contrast to what uh, was been talking in Artyom, where the input is an image. Uh, in our case, input is a text query. <coughs> Uh, rank uh, of particular image is usually determined by some sort of ranker, which often is represented by an ensemble of um, decision trees based on some features. There are a large variety of features, like text matches, user data features, query features, etc. We are particularly interested in the vector features, which can represent images and queries uh, directly. For images, uh, there are approaches based on usage of uh, last layers of deep convolutional neural networks, and for queries, there are methods like Vortex in its an analogs. Um, those algorithms can be successfully applied to the ranking problem, but uh, the feature they produced can be compared with each, with each other directly. So in our work, we try to construct query features in such a way that they can be used with image ones, uh, alongside image ones, uh, in a straightforward fashion. So we, uh, uh, to do this, we considered user clicks on search result for a particular query. Each search result is um, represented by some image, and, it I and its image um, uh, is represented by some feature vector. We used 100-dimensional feature vectors taken from uh, one of the last layers of neural network trained on standard ImageNet dataset, and we used only 100 of them because of production limitations. So having uh, this set of features for a query, a set of feature vectors of, for a query, and inf information about how many times users have clicked on some image and how many times this image has been shown, we can use simple aggregation uh, with um, uh, averaging using weights, uh, using clicks as weights, and some heuristics to f filter out uh, bad examples. Like we used uh, filter, uh, we filtered uh, images having low shows and uh, having a lot of queries on um, which they have been clicked. So as a result, we have a query feature vector that resides in the same uh, vector space as image ones. The usage of such, such features is obvious. We can uh, just compare images and queries by computing distance. We used uh, s Euclidean distance and added some weights to it uh, based on variances for each coordinate for some particular query. Besides that, we considered um, building image annotations based on these features, but the results of annotations are still not very uh, um, good, uh, so we will um, test them more. So the results uh, for distance feature. We uh, consider data set, uh, production data sets which we use for training the ranker, our ranker, which consists of query image URL pairs and relevance marks. It contains around 5 million uh, uh, relevance marks and over 400 features. The, to test our distance feature, we added it to this data set and um, proceeded with the testing as follows. We split our data set 200 times on train and test part in proportion 80 to 20. On each trained part, we trained the ranker two times with distance feature and without it, and then compute uh, mean squared error on the test part. And then use some statistical testing to validate that uh, MSA uh, uh, mean square error is uh, correct. So the um, result was huge decrease in, as a, in MSA error. Uh, well, huge in our uh, in our standards uh, is around to one percent. Okay. So um, uh, that's thank you very much for attention. You can see our poster.